So this combustion blower right here is an electrically commutated combustion blower, meaning that it uses uh, like a controller, which you can see. Well, you can't see actually because inside of this shroud, I had that shroud off earlier um, when I was looking at where that Molex plug plugs in right there. But basically it's got a module that uh, takes your alternating current single phase electricity and changes it to mimic three phase in a direct current form. It's it's kind of complicated and quite frankly I don't understand exactly how it works but that's kind of briefly what I know. Um, the rotor of this motor has permanent magnets in it so if we give this a spin you see it moves and then it'll have a position that it wants to be in. See how it kind of checked back and forth? The reason for that is because the poles of those magnets want this rotor to be in a certain position. So that's why it does that little dance back and forth. It has this little ring on the top um, so that it can pull air around these electrical components because they produce a lot of heat while the system is running. So here's the plug that comes in. You can see we have two, four, six different wires going into there. And uh, you cannot use this motor without this controller on the back. And normally this controller would be waiting for a call either for high heat or low heat from the furnace control board to decide what speed to run. So with these wires here, it took me a while to figure out exactly what they had going on. But the first two it was pretty easy to guess because we've got a black and a white. Those are our line voltage and neutral wires. So 120 is coming up on this black wire. And then we just have our neutral wire there with the white. And then the other wires, we have a green with a yellow stripe, which I believe is a protected ground. And then we've got a yellow wire, and then a brown and an orange. So, went and got a 24 volt transformer, because the, the control voltage for the unit is all in 24 volts. So the, the control board will send a signal up to this thing to run uh, at whichever speed on two different wires. And those two wires are the orange and brown, as far as I can tell, what I kind of eventually figured out. So we're going to plug this back in. Okay, so the motor's plugged in. You can see nothing is happening. We actually have this wire hooked up to power right now. So we've got 120 volts going in on the black wire, and then we have our common wire, which is also hooked up. If this was a PSC motor, or a permanent split capacitor mo motor, then it would just run right now. It would have power and the motor would be running, assuming that everything is good. Um, but we have to have a 24 volt signal, so I've got this transformer also wired in on our line voltage, and a fuse to protect the circuitry in here, because again this has a, a control board on it that is kind of important, I mean easily damaged. And these are our two other wires that go up. So you need this yellow wire to be hooked up to the common of the transformer. So that's wire nutted in down here. And then you'll send your voltage up on one of these two wires. So we're just going to attach it to the brown wire and you'll see that this thing comes on. Now that is one speed of the motor. And then this would be the other speed. I'm not sure which is which, but I think that the orange one might be a little bit more powerful. But now that I know that, I'm actually going to wire this thing up so that I can switch it between the orange and brown wire and also turn off my 120 volts coming into the system and get it all mounted together but I wanted to at least show you kind of the brief wiring because if the module or the motor is bad then obviously you can't do anything with it but if the module and motor are good and you want to use it for something you can't unless you add this transformer and uh, get it wired up the way that I've showed you so I'm going to add that switch in here and then show you what the end result is okay so you can see our power comes in on the brown wire goes to the other side of the switch and powers up our transformer and sends power up to the blower module 
and then our 24 volts comes out of the transformer and goes to uh, which terminal? That one's supposed to go to this terminal. No, wait. Nope, that's right. Okay, so the red goes to this terminal here. <laughs> so yeah, actually, I was right. That was on the wrong terminal. It needed to be up here. <laughs> so I switched it. And then it this three-way switch will switch it between here and the orange one here. So it'll bring it on into one of the two speeds. And then common wires are all hooked up together. And then our grounds and the uh, common side of the coil and the yellow wire are all hooked up together and then grounded to the bottom of the box using that random chunk of red wire. So now I'm just going to throw the cover on and we'll see if it works. Also, the red line, low voltage coming from the transformer is protected with this fuse. So that should, in theory, protect our control module in case we did something wrong. So yeah, here it is all finished up. Um, I think it turned out quite nice. It's just going to sit this way when I'm using it because it's got a nice flat spot and it sits good that way. Um, it's plugged in right now so we can turn it on in the first setting. Sorry, that was probably really loud. It really moves a lot of air. It pulls a lot in right here. So it's going to work good for an exhaust fan since I'm planning to use it for um, a wood burning project. Now we can just shut it off, let it spin back down, which it's going really fast so it kind of takes a while. <laughs> that dangerous? Okay. <laughs> and then we can switch our fan speed to the other one and flip it on. And it'll take off again. It's like a hair dryer. Right? Nice! <laughs> Okay, so now I have everything set up. In case you've never heard of it, I'm just going to briefly explain what this thing is right here. This is a Lichtenberg wood burner, and uh, what it does, it applies a high voltage current across the top of whatever you're burning on, in this case wood, and it ends up giving it these super neat, intricate designs. Um, it's very dangerous, so you need to be very careful. This particular transformer is 10,000 volts and came from an oil furnace. Um, and I've, I've hooked this blower up that we just rigged up to my vent pipe for the furnace. It's actually the intake pipe, but it's fine to vent a little smoke air out. Um, and then I connected this piece of 4-inch pipe, which fit in there nicely. So now we can turn this thing on. We're going to keep it in the higher speed. And it'll come on, pushing, pulling, I mean, a lot of air here. Then when I hold down my dead man switch, which has to be held down while it's burning, to be able to see the wood burning start which is super pretty isn't that cool to watch but you can see all the smoke is getting pulled straight out the exhaust is it yeah wow you can see it really good the smoke's just going straight out so that's why we got this rigged up that's why i was getting this blower because I wanted to be able to get rid of the smoke, but also do this. <laughs> so, now it's just a matter of uh, watching the art. You can see it's very pretty. And you can see the moment I let off the switch, it shuts off. Then I can just turn it back on. <laughs> it's funny, we just changed the, changed the path of the burning. Well, yeah, I quite like the uh, quite like the blower. It's kind of working perfect for this setup. So, anyway, hope that you found this video helpful, and uh, I will talk to you later. Here's how they turned out. They look pretty good.